Imagine a world where a former president is silenced by a court order. What happens then? In our nation's capital a significant legal ruling has just unfolded, casting a spotlight on the potent force of the judiciary. Judge Tanya Chutkin, presiding over a case in a Washington, D.C. court, has imposed a gag order on none other than former President Donald Trump. In the world of law, a gag order is a powerful tool, designed to maintain the integrity of judicial proceedings. When applied to a figure as prominent and influential as a former president, this order holds even more weight. It effectively silences the individual, preventing them from making public comments that could potentially interfere with the case in question. For the uninitiated, this case revolves around the former president and his alleged efforts to undermine the 2020 presidential election. Trump finds himself defending against four criminal charges, and the court proceedings are already underway. Amidst these circumstances, Judge Chutkin found it necessary to issue the gag order, an action spurred by concerns that Trump's unrestricted public commentary could disrupt the legal process. The reasoning behind this decision is rooted in the principles of justice. Judge Chutkin underscored that the well-being of the witnesses involved in the case, and the overall fairness of the proceedings, could not be compromised. She emphasized that Trump's status as a former president does not grant him unrestricted rights to criticize or hinder those carrying out their legal duties. This ruling marks a turning point in the legal journey of Donald Trump, marking one of the first tangible consequences of his numerous encounters with the criminal justice system. It is a moment that underscores the balance of power in our democratic system, reminding us that no one, not even a former president, is above the law. The court ruling is not just about silencing a former president, but about upholding the principles of justice. This encapsulates the essence of Judge Tanya Chutkin's decision to impose a gag order on Donald Trump. The reasoning behind her ruling is rooted in the preservation of the integrity of the legal proceedings and the safeguarding of the witnesses involved in the case. The judge underscored the significance of these considerations, emphasizing that the principle of justice must prevail over any individual's public standing. She expressed concerns that Trump's unrestricted public comments could potentially interfere with the ongoing criminal case in which he is a defendant. This interference, she noted, could not only jeopardize the case's proceedings, but also, more importantly, endanger the well-being of the witnesses involved. Judge Chutkin clarified that Trump's position as a former president does not grant him a free pass to criticize or impede the work of individuals involved in the legal process. These individuals are merely carrying out their duties in accordance with the law and their work must be respected. Furthermore, she voiced her concern about Trump's public comments, particularly his disparaging remarks about government investigators and special counsel Jack Smith along with lawyers working under Smith's supervision. She indicated that such comments threaten the integrity of the legal proceedings and could potentially influence public perception of the case. The judge also addressed Trump's targeted attacks on key witnesses involved in the case, such as retired General Mark Milley and former Attorney General Bill Barr. While acknowledging Trump's broad right to express his opinions on matters of public policy, she made it clear that he cannot engage in a pre-trial defamatory assault against individuals likely to testify against him. In a stern warning, Judge Chutkin stated that if Trump violates the gag order, she would consider imposing sanctions. Though she did not provide specific details on the nature of these sanctions, the implication is clear. Any violation of the order will not be taken lightly. Judge Chutkin's ruling is a clear message that no one, not even a former president, is above the law. This decision is not merely about silencing a controversial figure, it's about ensuring that the principles of justice are upheld, that the legal process is respected, and that the individuals involved in the case are protected. The gag order signifies a significant adjustment in Trump's public demeanor. This isn't just a suggestion, it's a mandate. It's a shift that's compelled by the order of a court, a departure from the usual. Historically, Trump has wielded his expansive platform to launch scathing attacks on various figures, turning rally speeches into verbal battlegrounds. Now this ruling sets boundaries on such behavior, especially when it's aimed at individuals involved in the legal process. Let's take a moment to look at the kind of language that has been under scrutiny. Trump has publicly derided government investigators and special counsel Jack Smith as crazy. He has used disparaging language to describe lawyers working under Smith's supervision. This isn't just about hurt feelings or bruised egos. Judge Chutkin is deeply concerned that such comments pose a threat to the integrity of the legal proceedings. 
The ruling doesn't just restrict Trump's words, it carries the weight of potential sanctions. Judge Chutkin has made it clear that she won't hesitate to consider imposing these if there are any violations. The nature of these sanctions hasn't been specified but they could be as severe as pre-trial detention. Trump's recent behavior hasn't helped his case. He's been launching targeted attacks on key witnesses involved in the case, such as retired General Mark Milley and former Attorney General Bill Barr. While Trump has a broad right to express his opinions on matters of public policy, especially as he potentially seeks a second term in the White House, Judge Chutkin has categorically stated that he cannot engage in a pre-trial defamatory assault against individuals likely to testify against him. The consequences for Trump could be far-reaching, from restrictions on his use of social media to potential pre-trial detention. This isn't just about a change in his rhetoric, it's about a change in his freedom. The once unrestricted platform that he used to voice his thoughts and opinions is now under judicial scrutiny. This gag order is not just a piece of paper, it's a significant shift in the way Trump communicates with the world. The consequences for Trump could be far-reaching, from restrictions on his use of social media to potential pre-trial detention. So, what does this mean for Trump's future, especially as he seeks a potential second term in the White House? It's a question that comes to mind when we consider the implications of Judge Chutkin's gag order. This ruling is bound to have a ripple effect on Trump's political landscape and his relationship with the public. Firstly, it's important to understand that this gag order does not muzzle Trump entirely. Judge Chutkin made it crystal clear that the ruling does not restrict Trump's ability to criticize Washington, D.C., its residents, or even claim the prosecution against him is politically motivated. The order is specifically designed to prevent Trump from launching pre-trial defamatory assaults against individuals likely to testify against him in court. This distinction is crucial. Why? Because it means that while Trump's communication will be curtailed, he still has the freedom to express his opinions on matters of public policy. He can still criticize government actions and speak on issues that resonate with his base. He can still rally his supporters and cultivate an audience for his potential second run for the presidency. In essence, Trump can still be Trump, albeit with a few more legal boundaries in place. But this brings us to another question. What happens if Trump violates the gag order? Judge Chutkin has already expressed her intention to consider imposing sanctions if the order is breached. While the nature of these sanctions remains unclear they could range from further restrictions on Trump's use of social media to potential pre-trial detention. This could significantly impact Trump's ability to campaign and connect with his supporters. Furthermore, the gag order could also influence public perception. For some, it may reinforce the image of Trump as a figure willing to flout laws and norms for his own benefit. For others, it may serve as a reminder of the ongoing legal troubles that seem to follow Trump, potentially casting a shadow over his political ambitions. In the end, this gag order is more than just shape Trump's political future and the way he communicates with the world. Only time will tell how this gag order will impact Trump's political aspirations and his ability to communicate with his followers. To wrap it all up, let's revisit the key points. We've delved into the intricacies of the gag order imposed on the former president Donald Trump by Judge Tanya Chutkin in a Washington, D.C. court. This significant legal ruling came to light as a response to concerns regarding Trump's unrestricted public comments, potentially interfering with the ongoing criminal case in which he is a defendant. We've also touched upon the reasoning behind such a decision, emphasizing the importance of upholding justice and safeguarding the well-being of witnesses involved. The judge underscored that Trump's official position, even as a former president, does not grant him the privilege to criticize or impede the work of individuals involved in the legal process. Then, we discuss the potential consequences for Trump. This ruling represents one of the first tangible outcomes of his numerous encounters with the criminal justice system, particularly in relation to four criminal charges linked to his alleged efforts to undermine the 2020 presidential election. The gag order will necessitate a significant change in Trump's public demeanor, especially regarding his targeted attacks on key figures related to the case. Finally, we pondered the possible political implications. While the ruling does not restrict Trump's ability to criticize Washington, D.C. or its residents, or claim that the prosecution against him is politically motivated by the Biden administration, 
It does raise the possibility of him facing consequences ranging from restrictions on his use of social media to potential pretrial detention. In the end this is a case that will undoubtedly go down in history, not just for its legal implications but for its impact on the American political landscape.